Morning, everybody. Well, I've got my mate here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's the 26th, and I've got to give him back. get dressed <laughs> yes get you something to put in your belly get me a coffee get on the road all right let's get out oh, I love that shower Right, let's get some coffee on the go. Oh yeah. Mm. No egg breaks coffee. Let's bring this Christmas tree in. I love this little Christmas tree. Eight quid from Tesco. Oh, right, let's get dressed. I've had a lovely shower. Absolutely love that shower. Working so perfect. I still haven't plumbed it into the van. That's just running off of the battery. 150 watt water heater. I normally just switch it on when I'm driving. Twenty-three degrees in here, toasty. Two kilowatt diesel heaters working lovely. So how are you all this morning? Hope your Christmas is great. I had a quite a nice chilled one with the girls and Sarah and Teddy. I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss them all to be fair. But like I did last year, went to Scotland. Find some snow. That's exactly what I'm going to do today. Now the drive is going to be, I'm going to probably end up doing it in one go. Yeah, I'll probably end up doing it in one go. Probably get to like Carlisle or something like that. Probably stop, have a shower, something to eat, and end up into Scotland. First of all though, it's absolutely unbelievable. I got here on about a tank and a quarter. It's just like about 130 quid in fuel. So anyway, I stopped off at the lower car park and boiled the kettle, did a drive up here. So I'm gonna settle in for the night with some teriyaki egg noodles, naked style and a can of pop. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this meal. 
I've just been eating crisps and a couple of bars of chocolate. Mm. Anyway, sorry about the noise in the background. Chinese DZ is on. It's minus four and a half here at the moment and it's going to get colder. So anyway, I'll see you in the morning, guys. Right, everybody. It is blowing a hoolie out there. So I'm going to hunker down. See you guys in the morning. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's about it's, it's nearly two o'clock in the morning. And we're, the plan is just being battered. It's pretty gnarly out there. I'm trying to hold the camera still while we're being rocked around. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me, but I'm, I'm not moving. It's the van being rocked around, making me move. Mm, yeah. Room for a rough night. Good job I've made, I've made this insulated thing. Oh dear, right. Let's see if I can get back to sleep. It is so windy out there, it's unbelievable. Oh dear. Right. Let's try and get back to sleep. Night guys, see you in the morning. Morning everybody. Well, I've learned <laughs> there's a storm in Glencoe. And it just feels like two giants are rocking the van. So I'm gonna head down towards Aviemore. I don't know if I'll see it because I can't remember much. But Yesterday while I was driving up here, I got whoppy rates stone chip in the in the windscreen of the some Ford Transit builder's van. I had a bit of a loose load, and yeah, so I need to get some resin before any water gets into the laminate and you know destroys the screen even more. Oh dear, let's get up, make some coffee. I have a look outside because it is pretty mental. It's like on, oh, it's one of those, I just looked out the window and it's like the car park, it's, just, it's like the snow is being like, you know, like drift or whatever you want to call it. And it's swirling around. It's like, it's like watching a time lapse of clouds moving over mountains, but it's actually on the floor. Anyway, I'll see if I can get some footage of that because it's pretty cool. I need to get some sea sickness pills. <laughs> God, yeah. Right, I'm waffling. I need some coffee. I need to get up. Look at that coming down. Oh, I'll go outside quickly. Sorry about the noise. Put the defrost on. Oh, the door's going to get ripped off. You can see it. Where's the handle? Look at that! Well that's it guys, I'll go back in. <laughs> Absolutely mental. Absolutely mental. Right, I'm gonna go down lower, try and get out of this uh, storm. I need something to eat, oh, I need a drink. I've had a, I'm opening a can of Dr. Pepper just to get some sugars inside me. Oh, right, I'll see you in a bit. Well, 
looks like the end of the road. They closed the road off last night. So we're stuck here. Oh well. I don't know when they're going to open that, but... Never mind. So you can see through the screen, I've been here for quite some time now, and they haven't opened the gates. <coughs> so we're stuck. Stuck in Glenmore. On our way to Aviemore. I must admit, and I hope you can hear me because I've still got the heating on, but it's times like this that I truly <laughs> am grateful for my van. I can't get over it. I just blasted all the way from the south coast, all the way to Aviemore, all up to Glen, uh, up the top of the Glencoe Mountain, and it's just like, yeah, I slept there, and I think we're in the middle of a storm. I'll have to try and Google the storm. I don't know what storm we're in. I think someone, I thought someone was going to open the gate then, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's oh, I love it. Just, it's when you build something and you're cocooned in your own little bubble and you made your own little, like, house on wheels. And it's been doing everything. I must admit, like, coming through some of the mountain ranges yesterday, the weather was atrocious. And we were still able to do, like, 60, 70 miles per hour because the roads were all gritted and everything. And the tyres, they've been absolutely amazing. I've yeah, I know there are like the beer of Goodridge and stuff like that, but I bought the, oh, excuse me, I bought the General Grabbers and uh, they are absolutely amazing. There's no noise, you don't get any fatigue. I was actually driving around without a stereo on and just thinking, this van is so super smooth, it's unbelievable. So when people say, oh yeah, put knobbly tyres on your, on your van, makes it noisy. No, it doesn't. Well, not the general grabbers anyway. I don't know how long we'll be here for. Um, so I'll wait until something interesting happens. Catch you in a bit. First time in history. Oh, fans just kicked in on this. Charge my GoPro up. First time in history, look. No signal. <clears throat> Everything's flashing away. It's only like half a degree outside. It's way colder than that. I went outside to take the take the cover off the front of the screen, which is down there. And I must admit, I was outside for probably about two minutes. I was frozen. Absolutely frozen. So, <clears throat> got my gloves out, ready. <clears throat> Excuse me, losing my voice now. Right. Sit tight. And we're free. <sighs> oh, he's closing the gate again. All right. Let's get into that. Parking space here somewhere, and then I can grab a few hours kip. Well, it's a lot less windy here. Oh dear, I feel absolutely, I feel excited. I feel like a school kid again because I'm out in Scotland in the snow. But I must admit, it is cold. I even got the heater on, it's number two. And it's just like, I don't know why, but it just is at zero degrees or just nearly, nearly, nearly one degree. But believe me, it ain't that. It really isn't. The outside temperature of the van says it's minus two, so I think I'm going to go with Mercedes. That feels a bit more right. 
but yeah. Welcome to Scotland, this is so cool. This is the beginning of like a, a you know, a, a couple of weeks adventure. So stick with me guys, don't forget to click and subscribe. And let's carry on. Strong winds, gales, heavy rain, and in some places, heavy snow during the rest of Wednesday. Now, the rain arrived on Tuesday across many western parts of the UK, and as that rain on Tuesday night moved into the cold air, you can see by the white colours there, we saw a significant snowfall in the Pennines into the southern uplands as well. That, during Wednesday morning, turned back to rain as mild air moved in, but it's across northern Scotland where the snow risk continues during the rest of Wednesday. Storm Gerrit out towards the west of Scotland there, bringing weather fronts across the UK, tightly packed isobars, especially for northern Scotland, and that's where the heaviest of the snow will continue during the rest of Wednesday. Elsewhere, further spells for rain moving in, and a couple of occluded fronts bringing some very lively conditions again to western parts as we end Wednesday. Morning everybody, how's it going? Well, welcome to day two. Day two of living the van life in Scotland. And I must admit, it's been absolutely epic. Yesterday was a bit of a mission. We tried to go to a park up. And I say we, I'm with some friends at the moment. Uh, met up with uh, <laughs> Rob from Pack the Van and Go. And uh, two other of his friends that are well known. And I'm going to respect. <coughs> respect their privacy, so I'm not going to mention them. Um, but yeah, we all went to go to this like park up, open skies, dark skies, you know, no light pollution, so we can hopefully see some amazing stars and stuff like that. Um, and there's good internet up there. And yeah, we got as far as we could. The roads were completely blocked. Uh, wasn't too bad with snow, but unfortunately, uh, there was one car, an electric Skoda. Oh dear. I felt sorry for him, to be fair, because he had, uh, it was an electric Skoda, four-wheel drive. But I don't think he read the manual, because electric cars, if you're driving in snow, you need to turn traction control off. And because it automatically puts the brakes on. So when it accelerates, the wheels lose traction, puts the brakes on. Didn't go anywhere. So, yeah, bless him. He, he, he had his kids in the car and we tried to push him out of the way, but he couldn't control the screen. He didn't know how to turn the traction control off. So in the end, we sort of pushed him and he had to reverse down the road past us all. Uh, and then we were to turn around, but... Also being a long wheel base sprinter, I had to reverse back down round this fallen tree, round all these cars, and then turn round into a little spot. But yeah, that was like a like a two hour sort of like round trip that we didn't get to go anywhere. So we came back to Abbey Moor. Sorry, I was having a cup of coffee. It's about twenty past seven in the morning. So uh, hopefully today 
it's going to bring some new adventures, some new driving. Um, actually, I don't know if we're going to drive anywhere today. We might just have a chill day. I think we might do that, actually. Um, the snow is like, it rained quite heavily last night, so it's washed the snow away, which is a little bit gutting. But good news. More snow is, is, is forecast for Friday. So I'm going to upload this video, hopefully. It might take a day because I think the upload speeds here are a pretty, sort of download speeds here are pretty dire. I don't even think it's like one megabit a second. <laughs> but ah, it is what it is. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. Scotland. Love it.